Hi Team Crown, how will that be? Within the happen, within the sub. Welcome back to our channel. Okay, guys, here we have um, Peruzzi talking about Davido. He said recently during an interview that Davido doesn't sleep. Um, he said he's in the studio with Davido till like 6 a.m. Actually, what he was trying to say is that, you know, I mean, Davido is already rich. Everyone would think that this guy should be relaxing. So he was shocked to realize that this guy is actually like hustling even in the night. Now, in his words, I lived with David for two years and I can tell you he doesn't sleep. Me meeting Davido thinking, okay, this guy has already achieved now. He is supposed to play and supposed to chill. And then he's in the studio till 7 a.m., 6 a.m. I'm like, no, I just knew that, okay, guy, the higher you go, the more you have to give. And that's what drives me till today. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Moving on to the next news. Here is war uh, between um, baby, baby mama <laughs> and um, a girlfriend, um, an alleged girlfriend, whatever they want to call it. <laughs> alleged girlfriend. <laughs> well, uh, it's about Ubi Franklin. Ubi Franklin and his alleged quote-unquote <laughs> girlfriend and what actually happened was it seems like you know the baby mama sandra you are you are <laughs> who stays in u.s has blocked ubi franklin you know from reaching the the child so i think maybe this this me thinking right this must have been the reason why they're fighting based on what i read right or based on the the news about their fight and also you know their statement on social media now it seems like Ubi Franklin went to US, met the girlfriend, and was like telling the girlfriend, you know, like this baby mama stopped me, you know, from you know meeting my child or reaching my child. Well, anyways, this guy, this lady, Renny Star, she's uh, you know, she's an auto dealer in US. Okay, her name is Renny Star or something. That's the alleged girlfriend, right? So this lady came on social media started ranting they didn't mention names so i think sandra you are get the sub she didn't mention sandra you name but she got the sub because if you see in this in her statement she said just mention my name if they born you away like you know like if sure for you just mention my name and she even said that uh, movie franklin has ex expired okay you you get the, you get the point um but you can see it here let me just read i'm gonna skip some not too good for youtube you know um, she said i have never seen a dumb in my entire life fighting over an overused washed up man believe everything he says to you me i don't talk too much man you're talking too much already i put receipt just mention sandra if he's sure for you you the fight for expired if he's sure for you mention my name in that post and what is the post i think it's a long post like this lady was ranting and saying why is it so hard for some people to take their l's trying to use me for clout don't work i'm a boss chick i drop what i don't like and pick what i like now we hot we no keep person i think this fight has been going on in background um, before it was bought on social media um anyways sandra you are actually went live on the social media and even called out the lady with her full chest guys let us watch the video what the fuck you'll be buried forever Rene faster you'll be buried forever forever for you saying that i created a fake account to to say rubbish about my children you'll be buried for the rest of your life children that i carried in my womb in my womb to talk nonsense nice about my children you're saying I'm the one that created a fake account when you're the one that created a fake account and betraying me since yesterday. You are the one. You'll be buried forever. You look for children and you will never see them. You will look for kids and you will never see them. You will look for children and you will never in your life. You walk you out the face of this earth. You will never see kids. For you to open your goddamn sticky mouth to say that stupid shit. It's 
my house, I carry these children, I carry these kids in my womb for somebody to come and say rubbish about my children. And now Anyways, Ubi Franklin said very important, um, a man's heart should never be caged and the ability to love shouldn't be a question of ridicule. I have loving children and great mothers with whom I share um, co-parenting responsibility with um, either financially or physically um, where possible. I have every right to put a call across to all the mothers of my kids to be sure they are fine and possible opportunity to see my kids. I cannot basically reach a two-year-old without the assistance of the mom and for months it has been impossible. I have a right of association as a single person. Nobody has a right or have been given such leverage to harass anyone seen around me. I will urge everyone to respect my relationship decisions and avoid any negative discourse that does little to add positive energy for all involved. First, I just want to say be frankly, nobody is going to respect your relationship decisions it is up to you to respect it and um you know ensure that it doesn't reach social media because trust me if you reach social media everybody could drag you not even your baby mamas alone like like seriously okay guys moving on to the next news here we have tonto dk and bobwiski tonto dk and bobwiski don't defy they everyone followed each other in fact bobwiski recently blocked tone to dk and this started after alima came on social media to blast bobriski um she revealed old um yeah dms um with bobriski which kind of like include um tone to dk in some way you know telling bobriski back then that they were friend that you know um alima babaka have blocked um Bobriski and the Bobriski, you know, like there's this whole story is behind it, which really not important right now. The, what is important right now, or what is more important right now, is that you know Tonto DK, you know, and Bobriski are fighting. They were good. They've been good for a long time, supporting each other. But all of a sudden, it started when Alima Abubakar came into the picture. Um, she says, or he says, yeah, Bobriski, Tonto, you unfollowed me, and I block you. Since I still love you though, I will be the, the past person to start ranting what happened between us. I don't kiss and tell. What, what does he mean by I don't kiss and tell? Like, what, what, what happened between you guys? Nah, something fishy going down. <laughs> okay guys, moving on to the next news. This is amazing. This guy, like this report out there about this guy. Now, if you had told me that there would be a pastor, there's a pastor rather you know in pakistan preaching you know helping to convert some muslims to christian I, I would say it's a lie you know i would say that's not possible not only that it's a black man a, a black man in pakistan not even a pakistani right this one is a black man he must really have so much courage he's so lucky you know to be able to win souls there <laughs> this is real christianity that jesus was talking about according to the bible <laughs> his name is alberto umvila and he's 29 years old he's, he's able to record over 1 million four hundred and eighty nine thousand four hundred and sixty five souls saved through his ministry in his recent mission trip to pakistan tens of thousands of muslims received the life of christ amidst mighty healings and deliverance recorded in pakistan Mvila would passionately say let people call you crazy as long as you make souls um your number one goal and you keep on doing what god is telling you to do while you have favor with god i promise you god will give you favor before men and he will open doors you didn't even knock on well all I just want to say that this is amazing. Moving on to the next one here, we have Tubaba. This is to show that Tubaba is also, even though he's a celebrity, is also feeling the pains. <laughs> um, recently, went on social media to rant about, you know, how difficult it is to get through, you know, um, to these people and CDC. Um, you know, he expresses frustration on social media. Let's watch. NDDC or whatever portal or government travel portal 
You people better wake up. You are, you are causing serious hardship for, for people traveling. Yeah? You go to the airport, they say bring one code, pay one this thing. What is which kind of wickedness is all this one? Off, office where people they travel every second, you go close, they call phone, you know nobody they answer. What, what kind of evil bullshit is this? Just just imagine Nigerians stranded in the airport because of some useless God. This, this is unacceptable. This is, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. It's, it's annoying. It's, it's totally annoying. Because of 50,000 naira, you want to exalt It's annoying. It's annoying. You are shameless. Wickedness. People are shameless. What do they even do with the money? This is wrong. Very wrong. We want to come home. You cannot let us come to our home. It's ridiculous. What is the meaning of this? Stranded in another country. Very, 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 very. It's very bad for the country. For, for, for the whole of those people. It's a sad situation. They are governors, they are ministers, they are everything. Eh? Just. No, yes. it's not showing face. Yes, it's it should, it should, should, it, should, should. But the portal is wrong right now because we didn't make it see. It's yes, it should say face. But we have the bank. And it will, no. Okay, hold on. When you will give, if you don't pay, the automatically there will generate the number. But now we have to put the journal number in there and then print the boarding pass. He's not letting me do that because look at it. The Sir, he is trying for so long. The portal is down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I, I do one. You die not the vampire. You there. This is it. See. I just try to I could, can I say something because we have the Lagos passenger the, daily. The fear of EFCC is the beginning of wisdom. This guy got pranked by his girlfriend. Now, guys, this is trending on social media. I, I, I watched one video and after that video surfaced online, we started seeing videos like this. Ladies pranking their boyfriend. I don't know if their boyfriend is like Yahoo or not, but they just started doing this um, recently. And this Oh, hello. Oh, life. <laughs> <laughs> Regina Daniels and the, the other wife, um, uh, Layla, are very, very cool. After a successful surgery, this lady came with flowers. I mean, this relationship between these two is nice. I hope it's pure. That's just what I want to say because. Uh, you can't tell me that this is gonna be like like really really smooth but still um they are trying to like get along with each other you know and again you know we, we could see a different thing on social media what you see actually sometimes is not what you get <laughs> or what happens in real life um that's social media for you okay i got flowers and my beautiful balloon wow makazi Say <laughs> Dalu. Okay, moving on to the next news. Um, Fino shared this. Um, I think recently he worked with um, Zlatan Ibile. And of course, you know what Zlatan does. You know, his ad libs and, and all that. It was, it was caught on, on camera um, by Fino. And Fino posted it on social media. Only. Only not too much. Only. When I go, tell I go, tell you we. <laughs> when it ah, we hero. Oh my go, oh my go, ah, do it. Fire, oh my God, ah, oh today, tomorrow. Uh, this meeting was. Uh, we must meet. I. Oh, the father. I. Today, today. I, the father. Oh, your mommy. Your nephew. You know, uh, I think Zlatan is um, <laughs> getting attention to that. And it's the. I think he's the only artist so far that popular because i know a lot of artists you know do that um but he is his own is just a different vibe and that's why he's popular with it uh, it comes with attitude as well okay guys moving on to the next one um yabo ojo was seen i don't think this is the right advice to give a daughter was seen telling the daughter to get married um at 24 and the baby at 25 like psh, big deal isn't it <laughs> 
i don't understand why you would tell your daughter that you know but hey man mm -hmm. please record us so i'm recording record yes priscilla um, what age did i say you should marry next six years <laughs> no i reject it <laughs> those are 23 yes you're engaged ben. 24 Wedding. Ben. 25. Baby. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Like this. Boom. Amen. Just Please. give me the baby. Ben. And you can go back to your honeymoon. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, you. Uh, you. Hello. Three years time. Three years time. <laughs> you. Four years time. Where Benny. Oh, oh, yeah, you. Six years. Nine years. Nine years. <laughs> Wedding. All of you. Marry. It's mm. true. Amen. In Jesus' you. name. I was 23 when I had you. <laughs> so, you must marry early. In Jesus' I name. Settle. But hey, man, using yourself as, as an example, you know, giving birth early, and um, because I think she's using herself as an example because she, you know, she got married early, gave birth early. But where is it today? The marriage is nowhere to be found. But you know, whatever works for you is a daughter. So okay, guys, that is it. Here we have a he. A fan, you know, argues with her about her age. And he says she's, she will be 36 soon. And the fan says, come on, why are you lying? You're not 36. You're more than 36. Guys, let us read this. The way I'm feeling myself, though, 36 soon. Um, can June 15 come already? And somebody replied, your brother Egosa was my ex. And you're trying to tell me is senior to you lol stop lying about your age eh, he and she replied the person you were full sweetie how was she full uh, but a lot of people said she's more than 36 i don't know her age i can argue with somebody about their age that's what the last thing i will ever uh, like i would do yeah. <laughs> except except you're a footballer <laughs> uh speaking about divorce here is a lady who throws a party hey <laughs> to celebrate her divorce who does that like seriously this lady actually throws a party um you know it's not easy for some people some people that's uh, like the best that's ever happened to them seriously divorce is like the best thing that ever happened to some people I do i did it i'm done divorce at last <laughs> moving on to the next news um here we have a, a former police officer that, that was arrested after being seen in cctv footage stealing a phone What is your name? My name is Daniel Aaron. Daniel who? Aaron. Where are you from? I'm from Benin State, sir. I'm from Benin State. How old are you? I'm around uh, 37. Where do you live? I live in Kobe. Uh, Kobe? In Duma. Yeah. Which local government are you from? Obadibo local government. Are you married? I was married because I lost my job. My wife is not here. My children is here. What do you do for a living now? I do painting and screening. Painting and screening? Yes, you say you lost your painting. job. What job? 
Nigeria police force. What was your rank before your dismissal? I was a corporal, sir. What did you do? They dismiss you. It was a problem of accidental discharge. Sir. Accidental discharge. Yes, you sir. shot somebody. Yes, my the brother. person died. He died. Sir. Okay, and you were tried and dismissed yes, sir. from the force. Yes. Sir. When was that? 2014. 2014. Mm -hmm. What did you do? They arrested you now. Uh, what I did was. I carry, uh, what I did was I carry phone from. You stole phone. Abi, you carry phone. Uh, I stole phone from uh, front of uh, uh, this office. Of front of. Why did you steal the phone? Uh, I steal the phone because uh, I don't want to sell it because I'm not having money. I want to sell it for my children. Which office did you steal the phone from? Is uh, I have the front of the gate. Uh, front of. Which office? What's the name of the office? Uh, the front, uh, front What's the name of this office? IRT. IRT office. Yes. Okay, you came to IRT office to steal a phone? No, I didn't come to IRT office to steal a phone. I did come to say that. Uh, what did you do? They arrested you now? Uh, it's because of the phone I stole, sir. You stole a phone? Yes, sir. Where is the phone now? The phone is in Malaba. What type of phone? It's a uh, Infinix X5. Infinix X5? Yes, sir. What did you do with the phone? Uh, I sold it to one man here. Yeah. How much? 37,000. 37,000? Yes, Where is the money? The money I sent some to my family. You sent some to your family. I saw you with two wristwatch now. Yeah, How yeah. are you using two wristwatch? No, this uh, the one, the black one. The like this one. Yes. It's my own. The other one, uh, this one is a uh, one boy that stole my property. Yeah. When I was put. He stole my property after he stole my property. He got me since 2019. Then got so kind now. Now saw him today. I say, where is my money? And where is my money? Where is my money? Where is my phone? And the money is still from my house. Then he started begging me. So I didn't even want to bring me here. So Raymond, this one I invoked that. He said he will take from tomorrow. He will start paying. So then I see this. You now see the watch. Okay, back to the issue of the phone. The phone that you sold. Yeah. The phone that you steal and sell to somebody. You know the person that you sell the phone to? I know him. Do you know that the phone belongs to a policeman? No, I don't you don't know, yes, but you came to police station to steal a phone. You came to police station to steal a phone. Yes, I hmm? I Do you know the person you sell the phone to? Yes, I What's his name? His name is Abdul. Abdul. Mm -hmm. Where's his shop? He's in Maraba. Here. Maraba. Yes, sir. You know, even after Maraba. How many times you have been stealing phone? I've never stolen. This is the first time. Are you sure? Yes. Even this one. This one. Okay, guys, congratulations to Funke Akinele and the husband. The husband got himself a mansion and a new SUV. And, of course, they came on social media to celebrate it. After, remember, after Funke Akinele got herself a car, too. I remember reporting that here as well. Well, congratulations to both of them. They worked hard for it. Today is a new day. Part two. <laughs> ah. Somebody help! 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 To God be the glory. Inside. He has done. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Rip it. Next one. This is shit. You can't tell me that this lady is actually trying to comment DJ Copy's efforts because this is shading DJ Copy low key. She says here, this is an OAP. Shade Ladikbo saying dj copy's music is zero over 100 dj copy's character values 120 over 100 what is the point dj copy love in fact dj copy wouldn't even or ever see this as a compliment come on man you're abusing her a solid character will take you much further than talent give the girl all her flowers she's legit a big she will find what she's good at eventually what is, are you kidding me like this one a shady will go over the university. <laughs> okay, guys, that is it. Let us move straight to the question of the day. Um, quest to this question: Ten million naira cash 
or 1 million followers um, on Instagram, verified followers on Instagram? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Which one would you rather go for? Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're yet to do that. Until we see you next time, peace.